This is Heinz Gaming coming at you with another Battlefield 3 commentary, and in this video, I am going to be going over basically the state of Battlefield. How I think it's playing, how I think it's doing, how I think uh, it's failing, and how I think it's going to be in the coming weeks. So, I'm just going to get right into it. Uh, there are four negatives that a lot of people are pissed off about, and the first being map layout. Map layout is not really a big problem to me, but a big problem to a lot of dedicated Battlefield fans. They feel like they don't want some Call of Duty infantry map that they feel like they're getting with maps like Grand Bazaar or Saiyan Crossing or Operation Metro. They feel like that's bullshit. And then when they get bigger maps like Caspian Border or Operation Firestorm, they get a bunch of wasted space. And I, I feel for those guys. I mean, those guys are pissed because it's not really staying true to the Battlefield 2 kind of name. It's not the same map layout. It's kind of kind of like Call of Duty. And on the bigger maps, it kind of just fails. But I kind of disagree with that. In smaller maps like this, yes, you can get forced into choke points. It can be a complete meat grind. But there are so many flanking routes, so many ways to outsmart your enemy, that it's up to you to figure that out. My favorite thing to do on this map is when people are just meat grinding in here, getting killed and killing, I like to go up the sides and flank, and that makes it fun. And on bigger maps, when I just play the game and don't worry about all the wasted space, the maps seem big, they are fun, they are intense, you have that huge range to play with, all the vehicles, I mean, when you look past the the bullshit that the maps are too linear and that there's not enough space, you can have a lot of fun with the maps, because the maps are well made, except for Operation, uh, no, yeah, Operation Metro 64 Player Conquest, that is the worst map of all time, I hate that, kill it with fire, but otherwise, I think the maps are fun if you, if you play them smart, or if you play the objective or whatever, I think, I think the maps are good, but I know I'm going to catch a lot of flack for saying that kind of stuff, so I'm already looking forward to the hate comments and hate messages in my inbox. But moving right along to another hot topic issue, which is hit registration. I think this is a big deal for the competitive community. Uh, hit registration is huge. I don't want to run around a corner when I'm in a ladder game, you know, a really important game, and get killed because the hit registration is is bad. I don't I don't want that. I think that's going to have to be fixed through patches, and I think once it does, the, com the competitive scene will uh, get a little more momentum, so to speak. Uh, Moving right along to vehicle unlocks, this is a hot topic issue with newer players. Uh, they really don't like not being able to get out of the under 300 club, and that's just not being able to get 300 points in a jet because they get shot down too fast. Not everyone starts off in a jet like I did where I'm semi-skilled and I could get two kills right off the bat. A lot of people are new to flying, new to battlefield games, and they just want to play the game, and as soon as they take off they get shot down because they haven't unlocked flares yet. So how about you just give us flares? Just unlock fl or just put flares on the goddamn jet period and and then let us start the unlock tree i'm not against vehicle unlocks i'm not i love that system but what i am against is that newer players can't get flares and they die because people have been playing the game longer that's just kind of dumb so give us flares and then make heat seekers the first unlock that simple as that um now moving on to my last issue with the game and that is origin and I have a personal vendetta with this because my install was seriously botched. Uh, just God, I hate Origin so much. It's like a knockoff of Steam. I, I don't care what anyone says to me or what any how much hate I get from Dice or EA if they even bother watching this video. Origin is a piece of shit, and I hope it dies. And I mean that's that's all I gotta say. That you have install problems. I have to run it every time I play Battlefield. It's dumb. Take it out. Kill it with fire. But of course, that's not going to happen, but that's just me complaining about what I see as a useless feature in the game. Um, so, those are the four negatives. Those are pretty big, but I think that the positives of the game completely outweigh the negatives. And it goes as far as just saying this game is fun. This game is so much fun. A couple nights ago, I was with my buddies playing Battlefield and just having a blast. I was, we were talking, we were, had our headphones on, we were kicking ass. I mean, this game is just badass. And then I go home the next morning, and I play with my clanmates on TeamSpeak, and we're playing the objective, and we're all bullshit, and we're having fun. I mean, this game is just a very social game to play. It's fun, it looks amazing, there's 
there's so much stuff going around. Suppressive fireworks, awesome. Uh, I mean, you have your vehicles, just so much intense action. Just the game is fun. And what else can you ask for a video game other than it being fun? I mean, you can tell that DICE put a shit ton of time into this game. Despite all its shortcomings, this game is the most fun shooter I have ever played in my entire life. And I don't care what anyone has to say about that, because this game is my game. I'm going to be playing this game for a very long time. I'm going to be playing this game until Battlefield, cross your fingers, 2143 comes out. And once, once that game comes out, goodbye, goodbye world, because that game will be my life. Uh, but I think that if the hit registration issue gets fixed, that competitive ladders are really going to take off and could be could become pretty large. I mean, this game already has a shit ton of gamers playing it. I think that the game store has ordered like 10 million copies and ordered more. So you have over 10 million people potentially playing this game. That's huge. That is absolutely huge. There's so many players playing this game. This game is fun. The competitive ladders might heat up if hit registration is fixed. I mean, I just can't think of anything bad to say about this game other than the things I've already said because it's fun. Sure, there's some balance issues with mortars and and maybe recons being gay and hiding in bushes during night maps, but I mean, those are small little nitpicky things that I can get over in an instant because 99% of this game is pure bliss. The other 1% is just pure nerd rage, but that 99% is, is so much fun. I mean... You guys can probably hear me smiling right now in my commentary, and I'm rambling on about how much fun this game is. That should be an indicator about how much fun this game is. I mean, it's <laughs> there's nothing really you can say about it. So, I mean, that's my negatives. That's my positives. And basically, I think this game is in a very good shape to be one of the best games of the year and possibly stick around for a very long time, maybe even outlasting Modern Warfare. Who knows? Who knows how this game's going to turn out in a few months, but as it is right now, if they fix those, uh, well, probably not Origin, but if they fix those three problems, maybe not even Layout either. So two problems, the vehicle unlocks and the hit registration, this game could shape up to be a very solid game. Doubled with the Karkin expansion coming out, I hate to think what my social life's going to look like in a few months. It, it might be pretty gnarly. So anyway, this is Heinz Gaming, signing off.